Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to walk you through creating a bundle product using the Shopify Bundles app and display it using Replo. The Shopify Bundles app allows you to easily combine multiple products into a single bundled offering. These bundles exist in your Shopify store as a new product made up of other existing products. When a customer purchases this bundle, each individual product within it is added to the order. The app also tracks inventory automatically, meaning you don't have to manage any additional SKUs. It's perfect for promotional offers or grouping complementary products like a camera, memory card, and tripod, or in our case, a Replo winter bundle that includes a bomber jacket, a beanie, a hat, and a tote bag. While you can include up to 30 individual products in a single bundle, the main limit is that you can only have three options across the bundle. I'll explain what this looks like in more detail as I show you the bundle configuration process. There's also a maximum of 100 total variants allowed for each bundled product, which likely won't be limiting. You can find more information about the Shopify Bundles app in the description. Now let's dive into creating our bundle product. Assuming you've already installed the Shopify Bundles app, open the app and let's create our first bundle. Click on Create Bundle and enter a name for your bundle. I'll call this the Replo Winter Bundle. Go ahead now and select the products you want to include in your bundle. I'm going to add the Replo bomber jacket, the beanie, the hat, and the tote. You also have the ability to configure the options you want to make available to your customers. For instance, you can choose specific sizes or colors for each product, instead of allowing customers to choose for themselves. In my case, I want the bomber jacket to only come in the army color, so I'll go ahead and deselect the black option forcing the bundle to always include the army color. I'll also force the tote to come in the white by removing the other options. This will get us under the Shopify Bundle app's three option limit per bundle. Click Save and Continue. What you're seeing here is a new bundle product in your Shopify store that represents the combination of several other products. This is the output of the Shopify Bundle app, and this simplicity is also what allows you to configure this bundle within Replo. Let's add a description to the bundle before moving forward. This is what will be displayed on your site, so feel free to write what you'd like, such as the products included in the bundle. You can also upload any photos you'd like here. For demo purposes, I'll select the bomber jacket image to be the featured image. Make sure to also set the product status to active, so it's available on your store as well. Let's save our changes and move on to displaying the bundle on Replo. We'll start by adding the product component to our canvas. Select the product component and open the config tab in the properties panel. To change what product is showing, click on the product property located under the product section. Go ahead and search for the bundled product you just created and select it. Now the product component is linked to our bundled product. You'll notice that the product title, price, and description are automatically populated. Before moving on, I'll take the time to design the product component. Feel free to make any changes to match your store's styling as well. If your bundle has options like size or color, you'll want to provide a way for your customers to select their preferences. You can accomplish this by using the option list component and rep low swatches. The option list component will give your customers the ability to select options like size and color. And swatches allows you to define a color and or an image that can be dynamically configured throughout the product component to enhance the shopping experience. Related articles for both of these concepts can be found in the description below. Let's drag in an option list component for the first option and configure it appropriately in the config tab. This option will be the bomber jacket size. I'll now take the time to style this component. Now you can see we're able to select what size of a jacket we want. We have two more options for the customer to choose from, the beanie color and the hat color. For these, because they are a color, we'll use the circular option list component. Drag the circular option list component into the canvas and open the config tab. Now this is where we'll use the Replo swatch. Due to time, I've already gone ahead and created my swatch and added both an image and a color to my swatch for all options. For example, for the black beanie, you can see I've configured the color to be black and added the appropriate image here. Since the customer is making decisions through option lists, it's also important to configure the swatch type to be by option. Go ahead and also change the swatch to the one you created. I'll also change the option list and select the beanie color options so that the component displays only the available colors for the beanie. 
Now we need to configure the component to display the appropriate colors. Within the circular option list component, you will see an outer circle component that contains a child component called inner circle. Select the inner circle component and click the background color property. We want the color to be the colors from our list, so go ahead and click repeated option, swatches. Then select your swatch and click on the color property. Hit use dynamic property to apply the changes and you can now see that the circular options have the appropriate color. We can also add an image component to indicate to customers what option they've selected. Add the image component to the circular option list and select the image to open the design panel. We now want to dynamically change the image source based on the selected option. Click on the dynamic data icon, then selected options. Now select the option list the image belongs to. In my case, it's going to be the Rep Low Beanie color. Select swatches, then choose the swatch you created, and finally click the image property. To apply the changes, press the Use Dynamic Property button. Now I'll style the option list component to match the rest of the page. I'll repeat this process for the Rep Low Hat color option. That's everything we need to configure for our bundle product component in Replo, and we can go ahead and preview the page to see how everything looks. Generate a page preview by clicking the drop-down menu and clicking the View Page Preview link. I'll simulate purchasing the product to demonstrate the entire flow, including what the order looks like once it is placed by a customer. I'll start by selecting the size of the jacket. As I select different beanie colors, the beanie image changes. I'll go with the neon color for the beanie, and for the hat, I'll select the white option. Finally, I'll add the item to cart. The neat feature of the Shopify Bundles app is that during the checkout process, customers can still view what items they will be receiving before placing an order, and you don't need to configure any of this. Let's fill in some test credentials and place the order. Now if we head over to our Shopify dashboard, we should now have a new order in the orders page. Within the order details, you'll see each individual product from the bundle is added to the order and the options I selected. That wraps up everything. We've successfully created and configured a bundle product offering. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.